If Truth Be Told is the third show in our season, and it's written by Beverly Cooper, uh, who has written for Blunt on a number of occasions, including The Eyes of Heaven uh, and uh, Innocence Loss, a uh, play about Stephen Trescott. And actually, If Truth Be Told was the very first commission that I launched when I became artistic director. She had been doing a bunch of research about uh, the book bannings that happened in Huron County in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, and this immediately caught my attention. Uh, so she was inspired by what had happened to Alice Munro with her uh, Lives of Girls and Women, uh, also uh, Margaret Lawrence and the Diviners. And uh, as she began to peel back the layers in this research on discovering all of the books that were being uh, put up for this kind of censorship in that period, this uh, galvanized some uh, amazing people around the issue of storytelling and who has the right to tell a story, and who has the right to, to read a story, and who has the right to own a story. Beverly began writing this draft. We brought on Miles Potter as a director, and Miles has directed uh, countless shows here at Blythe and, and all over the country. This was really a chance to bring together two brilliant artists to tell this uh, potent and important story. And at the heart of it, truth be told, there's the story of Peg Dunlop, who has come home. She's been a celebrated writer who has won awards all over the country, and she's been living in Vancouver, and she comes back to uh, the southwestern Ontario town where she was born, where she grew up. When she arrives, she sees again, meets again, all of these people who she grew up with. And far from exalting her successes, there are a number of people in the community who are incredibly suspicious, and suspicious not only of her success, but suspicious of her as a storyteller. She has been telling local stories, stories from her time growing up, and there are a number of people in the community who are very upset that she has been telling their stories seemingly without their permission. So the play is incredibly dynamic. It's full of uh, zealous, fighters on all sides, uh, and at the heart of it is the search for the truth, and who has the right to the truth, and who has the right to tell the truth, and, and I think really what Beverly has, has hit on more than anything else is about the value of art, and the idea of art as uh, something that can change us.